Hello, I'm Jared Antonacci and I'm here today for Coles to talk about the Trombo and one of the most important parts of what we do as brass players and that is warming up. It's really important as a brass player to have a solid fundamental routine that you do every day. In order to be consistent, we have to do the same thing consistently. So warming up encompasses a few things. Long tones, lip slurs, articulation, scales, high range, there's a lot of things. But before we get into any of that, I want to talk about the most important part about this. And that is what we do between our lips and this, the mouthpiece. Long tones are the fundamental guide for what we do. It gets everything go going. It gets blood to the lips, it gets the air, it gets everything coordinated. But there are a couple things that we have to understand, the mechanics of what goes into making a really good long tone. And that is stable on the embouchure. The corners here have to be nice and firm. And you want to make sure that the aperture, the space between the two lips, is open enough. What I tend to do before I play the horn at all is I want to coordinate a good buzz. Uh, don't get the tongue involved whatsoever. Only air and your lips. I like to start out on a B flat and I go down in half steps. You want to strive for a really good round solid buzz and you want to do your best to breathe in a relaxed way. Don't breathe in a way that might seem artificial, which is to say really big or take a lot more air in than you actually need. The same breath that you take in should be as relaxed as it is when you speak. Mm -hmm. Embody the gliss. All the way down to E. What we'll do after this, and you've coordinated your lips and your air, is we'll put it into the horn and we'll start our long tones. Now there are a couple ways you could do long tones. You could do just in four with a nice steady click. Go down by half steps. Or you could vary it up. What I like to do is change it up. So think of a pattern in three, think of a dotted quarter note and three eighth notes. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this pattern going down in half steps. Now you want to keep a few things in mind. As you adjust between the half steps, for starters, there's going to be no tongue whatsoever. It's all air, it's all lips. As you move between first position, second position, first position, third position, you want to be mindful of how quick your arm moves. So this is going to concentrate on a few things. Slide technique, the lips, and the air, all at the same time. It's not. With the tongue, we're going to get rid of that completely. same path pattern starting on an F and then on the B flat and what this is going to do is it's going to get all of these things in order before you dive into the next part of what I think makes up a really really good fundamental routine and that is lip slurs and articulation slash scales. Mm -hmm.